you think, Sarah? What do you think, darling? Where are you? Where are you? Hey? I'm just checking to see if her belly's starting to fade out a little bit and uh, become a little bit. <laughs> and that tail goes to find somewhere to grip with my girl Sia. And uh, it's very hard to tell, actually. But I don't actually think that it is fading out at this point. I would really love to see her going in to another shed, of course, um, which would tell me that she's growing. Sia is a diamond python, and uh, yes, a Morelia, not known as a carpet python though, they're just a diamond python. But uh, I haven't actually had my girl out or I've had her out, but I haven't done a video with her. And Sia is certainly not um, a defensive um, girl. I'll get her around my shoulders and try and hold her up here so that you can see her um, a little bit. And I'll bring her around. As you can see, she's a relative, you know, calm, calm girl and reminds me, and I think I've said very much of uh, Jessie um, in terms of really liking to grip things, um, whether that be with her tail or her head, um, she doesn't care so long as um, she can grip with some part of her body. Um, but she's doing well, guys. She's eating. Of course, she will only eat mice at the moment. I have tried to swing her back over to rats, but with no luck, absolutely no luck at this point, which, so, which, and then I don't finish that sentence, do I? Which doesn't bother me. Um, so much because it really is Lily and Sia that are now eating mice for me and at least now Maya is back onto eating rats so uh, as much as I'd really like both of these guys Lily and Sia to be on rats again I won't stop trying but or giving up the hope but at this particular point no go more importantly to me is that they eat especially Sia who is tiny really for a four-year-old coming up four-year-old um, and she she is four years old guys because I got her when she'd really just kind of turned that three years of age. But I did a video, I actually did do a video and it was about um, surprising your snacks. And uh, I watched it back and I thought to myself, I'm confusing me, so I've got to be going to confuse others by doing this video and how I've seen how I'm seeing things but I guess the whole idea of the video was to say and I didn't put this in this particular way but to say some snakes are okay with you changing things and doing things a little bit differently with them but there are some snakes and this would be, especially my Sia, where mixing up and changing things really does um, stress her out. She really 
likes things to stay the same whereas Lily is so curious and when I change things to her she gets so excited and and wants to check things out but Sia is the complete opposite she will just go and hide and avoid whatever I may have put in her enclosure or done differently in her enclosure of course I'm really hoping that will change but um, at this particular point that doesn't seem to be happening I could say that really in honesty all my other snakes are pretty good with me mixing things up for them and changing things around in their enclosure but yes I have noticed with Sia that what I consider to be that would be a really nice surprise for her is not and we often see that we we get a bigger hide for our snake because they've grown out of the old one and they won't use it and they're quite adamant in not actually using it and no matter what you do they're not going to use it but you put their old one back in and boom they're straight in it uh, it it can just be the way some of them are but I have definitely noticed that I have to be very careful with Sia and how I do things and and take note of if she's not moving around that new particular that even a plant that I will put in there that I think that she'd be okay with she doesn't like and I leave it in there for a good week and when I realize she's just avoided it and she's stayed completely away from it and won't go near it I will take it out and then you know within an hour she is actually curled up there or has gone down over to her cool side because it's it's not there anymore to that degree guys where she wouldn't even go past it so I always say it's good to mix things up and change things to keep your snakes brain thinking and processing and learning and all of that good stuff but for Sia it's just totally not the case of course Sia is very used to the little jungle gym that I bring her out on and she loves to explore that I haven't as yet put her up into the higher area uh, not for any other reason other than um, you know I've had her for a year and you would think she would be so comfortable and relaxed and and she is considering I was told she was not a snake that liked being handled well I don't think she's showing signs of not liking it you could say um, to me she feels as comfortable with it as any of my other snakes but the one thing that I have noticed about Sia is going to the toilet you know we we have this idea in our head that they eat they digest and roughly is it not supposed to be within five days or so they'll go to the toilet um, okay give them a week I'll go to the toilet or we like them to have at least gone to the toilet before we offer them another meal I can't afford to do that with Sia being already what I consider to be a little underweight and the, no I wouldn't say underweight but I would like her to have more weight on her um, but this girl she goes six weeks before she'll actually go to the toilet and it is just the way that she is and I cannot go six weeks between her feeds 
she would be starving. So I feed Sia still every seven days and she eats about four to five adult mice and they're not very big. But when she came to me, she was only eating little wiener rats. So those four to five mice are fairly adequate and I'm just waiting for her to grow a little bit more and then I can offer her more but she won't go to the toilet um, I I don't know why it is just the way Sarah is so um, and even then it is me persisting and getting her out and holding her over that puppy pad and then she will go. Uh, she will not go in her enclosure. And that doesn't mean that I don't try her over the puppy pads every sort of several days because I do. She doesn't need to go, she won't go. I see her drinking and getting plenty of fluid. So, but she is still down in my bedroom um, where it's nice and quiet and comfortable for her. But there you go, guys. Some snakes don't mind surprises and you changing things for them. Some snakes, you know, like Sia, she doesn't go to the toilet as all my other snakes do. I just go with the flow. I know she's okay. So that's how we do it. We read them as individuals and we care for them as individuals. And that's how I have to care for Sia. So guys, uh, yeah, you all take care of yourself. And uh, what I'll do before I turn off is I'll show you something new, which is not Sia at all. I'll spin you around. Well, I can't actually, because Sia's got hold of this hand, so I'm kind of hoping you'll see, even though I've not, not able to see myself. Please, Jed, no barking. But I gave my girl, and you probably won't be able to see her, possibly. See, her. can I use my hand, darling? Well, she's going to grip the tripod. And you hide. And even though she could get in there and cool herself up tighter, she got half as well, not half herself, but some of herself hanging out there. But she seems to like it, so um, I'll leave it there and see how she goes. Anyway, guys, take care of yourself and everybody that you care about. Your snakes and all your animals. And briefly, a new enclosure that I've got to get set up. But ciao.